Hey guys, it's Mike. Negative gradient. You should subscribe. Doesn't even matter. If you know what the video is about, just subscribe and then watch it. But I'll tell you. It's the paint job for the T54, 135 scale model. And uh, yeah, I bought a spinning thing. So you can put your model onto it and it spins. It would be very cool, and at the end, uh, we should probably we can probably expect a minor reveal of some type. Enjoy. All right, starting with some uh, airbrushing. Nothing fancy. Just put down your base coat. We've already primed it, black and a white zenithal, and then we're just gonna put down the green. Base coat. So after we've base coated and we chose our darker color we're gonna do the same not well not a base coat but we're gonna do highlights now with the same type of nuance so for example green but just a lighter green and we're just gonna make sure that the things that are more on top are gonna be coated in that color. standard procedure people Now, if you noticed, I'm now being a stupid person, so I'm shaking my airbrush too much and I actually spill paint all over. Just, you know, shit happens. Oops, can I swear? I don't, I don't know. Things happen and you just you wipe it up with a paper towel or whatever really quickly and just dab it. Yeah, everything should be fine. If you uh, pay attention, you will see the paint evaporate mysteriously. You might be thinking, but well, Mike, what are you thinning your Tamiya paints with? And uh, you know, yeah, that's the secret. Who knows? Maybe you should subscribe. Anyway, so, moving along to the tracks, here we're just putting down a base coat, brown, and uh, actually two browns, so it's a NATO brown and a red brown, uh, and just, uh, you know, mash it in there, uh, in order to uh, just have the foundation for some, you know, grime and, and stuff like that. Uh, I I don't uh, I don't care for clean looking tanks honestly I mean it's impressive of course a good painter is a good painter but it doesn't make any sense to me for them to be clean fresh out of the factory anyway here you can see me uh, put some uh, hand soap into the paint and it will create an, quite an interesting effect um, if you mix. Uh, soap with uh, paint and you let it dry you should try it uh, but yeah it will kind of make everything flow easier and when it dries it, it has like kind of like a crusty texture which is quite interesting uh, so yeah give it a try here's another uh, good technique uh, so you just uh, load up your uh, brush with paint and then you flick it uh, using a stick or whatever just flick it all over it will create this uh, you know mud uh, uh, mud spill or whatever 
sure how to call it. Stink. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it, it actually looks uh, pretty good. Now, I'm also adding some stuff there on the barrel, and um, we. You you will notice that uh, all all of these uh, uh, colors and stuff they look really they're quite strong now. Uh, the highlights are strong and uh, all the spots and everything is quite strong. But at the end, after dry brushing, uh, especially when you're talking about like a tank or well a scale model where you're aiming for some type of um, realism you want to use a varnish at the end of course uh, but not a, a, a glossy one so you want to use a quite a matte uh, varnish and I use Tamiya's flat varnish and it's really flat so well you will see at the end. just moving on to some details I did the gun there the star the cloth and so on and so forth just working on the on the small details and everything is gonna look very very matte at the end but it's it's subtle it's the subtle things it's the little things that that turns a a miniature or a, a model to a great piece in in my opinion at least and uh, you know perhaps you agree i don't know Leave a comment. So yeah. Moving on with some makeup brushes. Quite good. Just pick them up at any store. Use makeup brushes. They're really good. Uh, just putting on some... Uh, actually bought uh, this uh, Necron compound. Just actually adding Necron compound to a machine gun or a piece of track. It works surprisingly well. I wasn't quite happy with the, with the machine gun. So we're just mixing in some details with some more green and uh, taking it from there. So now we have the big airbrush out and uh, it's a little bit of yellow. It's just very, very subtle dry brush effect of kind of like a yellowy, dusty, dirty type thing. You, it's hardly noticeable and uh, then we're doing just uh, white with yellow uh, dry brushing with a smaller brush and uh, this becomes sort of a highlight situation which at this point before the flat varnish is really strong but you mustn't you mustn't be deterred um, the, the flat varnishes will just dampen everything so at, at this stage before you've done that you need to use like really strong colors uh, Tamiya's panel liner which uh, traditionally uh, is and should be used for you know filling in panels and just let it flow along the panels but for this one I wanted it to flow kind of like it does now because it also adds a very interesting effect kind of like um, petroleum spillage if, uh, so as you can see it kind of floats out from the dots and it, it kind of looks like um, you know, gasoline almost so yeah so not only does it highlight quite well or or you know fall into the recesses quite well but it can also be used to produce you know a staining which you obviously you should be careful with but uh, if that's what you want that's a nice tip uh, yeah and it will dampen a lot with, when you use your flat varnish so. uh, I think I also used uh, some oil on some of the parts I think we're gonna show that maybe Oh no, I'm just going wild with a panel liner here, staining everything. Yeah, take it. Ah, oh, here we go. 
Nuln oil. You can use it for everything, even tanks. Oh, hey! Hope you liked that. Let's get to 10 subscribers and you should be one of them. You know? Watching my videos is good for you. Anyway, subscribe, comment, and everything. Remember, I'm a beginner and you should help me uh, with comments. So, uh, yeah. Well, here is the end result and take care.